collegandomi a quello che ha detto prima il signor Toro sulla ragione della durata del tempo dei Monsters Movies, il mistero eccetera, e le, la quale sono anche parecchio d'accordo con la tradizione. Però mi chiedo perché oggi, cioè, diciamo negli ultimi cinque anni, c'è una specie di recrudescenza da tutta la saga di Twilight, il revival dei vampiri, anche in letteratura. Cioè, ci sono dei periodi in cui è particolarmente intensa questa, um, questa riscoperta. Allora, se così la persona in gamba è impegnata vede una qualche spiegazione in questa cosa di oggi. E poi mi incuriosiva moltissimo, visto che c'è di mezzo di Diana Canonero, sapere quanto, lei la, a quello l'ha già accennato, quanto um, lei ha lavorato sulla difficoltà di indossare degli abiti come fece per il Bell Lindon di Kubrick e quanto per voi indossare degli abiti particolari un trucco particolare che poi immagino che i denti così danno anche no, difficoltà di respirare, di parlare so di dire. quanto profondamente condiziona indossare un costume o un trucco
I agree with what Emily was saying. I kind of answered it over here. I think that the unknown is always going to be in vogue. It might just have its ups and downs. But in the 30s, uh, my grandfather was a young man, or and um, there was a surge of vampire movies, too. There was Dracula, the Mark of the Vampire, the Son of Dracula. There were so many. It's so, to me, it's a... Um, Ma infatti poi venne il nazismo. Cioè, legato anche a un momento storico. Well, what does the Nazi have to do with that? Yeah, what, what does the Nazi have to do with Bela Lugosi? He was Hungarian. No, la tendenza, la pa una paura del lei che si respira nel tempo. Oh, yeah. Il nazismo, piuttosto che il terrorismo oggi, o cose del genere, influenzano queste cose. Collocazioni sociali negli anni 70. Esatto. Influenzano queste, questi revival, secondo lei, o no? Oh. Probably you can write that better than I can. Um, I, uh, yeah, I mean, there might be a social thing. There might be, uh, you know, we can talk about uh, the war in the Middle East. Uh, but as I do believe that it, uh, it goes a little bit deeper than that, because like what Emily says, a lot of these vampires, these new vampire movies, there's good vampires. <coughs> There's these vampires with a conscience. Um, what, 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 the, the thing that kind of changed, and the little bit that I know about the horror movies and, and, and that thing is that when, um, in the old days, Frankenstein was, was vulnerable. Uh, Dracula, you can kill Dracula. Uh, you can kill the mummy with fire. Dracula, you put a stick, you drive a stick right through his heart. The wolf man, you got a silver bullet and you can put him out. What happened was at some point in the 70s or 80s, or maybe, maybe in the 70s, you couldn't kill the monster. The monster would keep coming back. Like Nightmare on the Elm Street, uh, where the monster would, you kill him and he comes back. And he keeps coming back. Um, and I think that the new surge is like maybe, well, in this movie, <laughs> the monster is killed with a silver bullet. So the, the monster's had an Achilles heel. And maybe what we're seeing now is that, and I, I don't know these movies because I haven't seen these movies, that the, the new surge, I haven't seen a lot of them. I mean, I actually haven't seen uh, not many of them. But the, 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 maybe the idea, the new take on it is that there is a conscience to the monster, the monster can be tamed, maybe the monster can be put out, but I have, I'm not up to date to talk about these, except for the wolf man, I'm up to date on that one. We could write a book about it. Abbiamo un'ultima domanda, chiedo scusa a tutti gli altri colleghi, ma il tempo è quello che è, non è. 